can't find a good stopping spot, so this might just end up being a really long episode. Caught me making a mental recap of what I gathered so far. An open box, an unopened box, a weird book, an unloaded gun, a cat that comes and goes. I have to start a new civilization with the expiration date of a yogurt. I'm starting to understand how this house works. Things are not what they seem, and there are places hidden everywhere. I'm gonna search the place like a goddamn CSI team. I don't know if I'm, if I'm unconsciously motivated by my appetite, but I can't seem to get out of the kitchen. Which could also be because there's something else here that I must uncover right in this part of the house. I agree, check it thoroughly. What about your family? You haven't mentioned them. I agree. Check it thoroughly. I don't care about his family. Light is better here. Still not enough to get a clearer picture. Could have missed something. Oh, wait a minute. There's a corner next to the pantry. There's a corner in every room. Usually four of them. Some old stuff in it. Should go through it. Maybe I'll find it something there. Dig in, man. Maybe you'll die and I can stop the episode. <laughs> I'm on it. So I've gathered everything I've found. Let's see. It's an ice cream spoon. Although well, you can't kill anybody with a spoon. You can scoop with a spoon. At least pluck out somebody's eyeball with it. Spatula. Can't think of anything useful with that. Cheese grater. I have a joke for you that, for this one. What does the blind man say after being handed a cheese grater? It's the most violent book I've ever read. Oops, hope you're not one of those uh, SJWs, a harmless joke. Oh, wait, there's remote control, but I don't see a TV. Who knows? That's exactly. Surprise factor is not working anymore. Gotta deal with what's here, the house gives us. It's not much to tell you the truth. But it won't defeat me. I'll not let it defeat me. I'm just gonna press the power button, see if something good happens. Hey, the cat's back. Hey, there's the TV. And I think there's only somebody says no time for TV. Very few people do. Um, listen carefully. We have we'll say this only once. When you talk like that, you're going to. When you talk like you're not looking for answers, you just want to make the listener agree with you. For more polls and listen like this, sign into our newsletter. All right. So I think there's only one more chapter. So maybe we'll just push through, and I'll just put up a long episode today. to watch some TV together. Oh, control turn this idiot box on. Only giving me a channel zero. If I get this thing to work, I'm so tired of staring at screen statics that I'm starting to hear something or other. Oh, it's a puzzle. Doesn't do that. Not allowed to turn it off. Let's try 107 on red. Just start at the beginning here. Truth or dare? Truth. Dare? Let me see if those are the same. Or so 347 on. 347 on e. That's not what I want. So I guess the colors are first then. 347. Oh no, this is the numbers. The numbers are different sets. Okay. 
So we got 107 is the truth or dare. 174 is some melting hearts. Two is some weird webcam thingy. One ninety eight. Have fun with me, six 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 drink. Two oh six. All right, so these look to be. The stars, all right, let's try 347 again. I wanna see, I'm gonna try to do all the different star things. Tuxedo octopus, 444, 25. Now we have to figure out what the exit is. Exit is one oh start is one oh five. That looks like a math problem. I don't like math problems. Alright, I'm back. I had to stop for a bit. Um quite a while actually. As you can see I'm basically overloaded the timer. Yeah. So we're gonna get back into it. Hopefully it doesn't give me too much of trouble. Who's back? Pray that leaving me alone for so long gave me lots of time to think about things between us. We come to the conclusion that I'm going to have to end this relationship right now. And please don't worry, it's not you, it's me. Bye. No, oh, well, that's what we get for leaving him alone for so long, I guess. Well, we knew there were consequences for leaving him alone, but do what you can. Right, I'm going to get back to the TV and then we'll pick back up. Alright, so I think the key... The key has got to be here, right? So it's this thing. Is it the number of faces on a cube? Is that what it wants to know? Because if that's so, it's nine. Yes, apparently that was what it wanted. All right, two fourteen. Now we need to know what's in this corner here. We only have four answers, so we, in theory, we could just guess it. But eight plus one is. All right, let's try that again. These are always staying the same, so it's basically only. It's shuffling some of these around, though. So let's try four red. Yes, got it. All right. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> I just kind of guessed on that one, but it worked out for us. What is that? Three fifty-three. Math is not really my strong suit. All right. So what goes in this bottom corner is basically what it's asking. Yellow, yellow, blue, red, blue. Yellow, yellow, blue, red, blue. Yeah. Right, so this pattern repeats. So it should be yellow, yellow, blue, red, teal. Yellow, yellow, blue, red, teal. It's this one. So do I just hit red for this? Apparently yes, okay. <laughs> oh man. So blue square weighs, weighs the same as, I think this is a weight thing? Blue square weighs the same as two reds. Two reds are equal. This weighs the same as 
two blues. So one blue and a red. So it's not this one. I think it's yellow. Yes, okay. Hey! Go us! Ooh, creepy guy. Scribble, scribble, scribble. Scribble, scribble, scribble. Hey, it worked all along. I had a glimpse of some porn, some infomercials, and a close encounter of the analog kind with my dear Snatcher. Calm down, don't get agitated yet. He left a voice, me a video message. So he anticipated me getting this far. Did you recognize him? No, he had a mask on. And only communicated through written signs. So no face and no voice. Only got words to analyze. He said that, like, I can imagine this is far from being over. But it's up to me to find a way out, and it won't be easy, and when I'm ready, we'll meet again. I can't wait. Oh, and he finished some uh, with some wise thought crap. Something like, if you're going through hell, keep going. Somehow he knows I'm a goddamn masochist. Maybe you should prepare for a face-to-face -face with him. <laughs> like with some kind of Wild West duel, ten paces, turn and draw. Maybe it's not that far-fetched, but I'm too chicken chip. Couldn't pull it off. And besides, remember I have an unloaded gun? Certainly wouldn't would confirm my kidnapper's lunacy. He must be a spoiled brat who wants to play cowboys and Indians. Guess who's the Indian? Man, this is really getting ugly. There's a door that opens onto some stairs that go down. Looks like an invitation to continue. Don't know if I should accept, but as usual, my choices are limited. Yeah, sit down. Looks like an invitation to continue. At least I have a few more options at the moment. Not just one locked door or hidden exits. It's starting to become much more open now. And with bigger ch choices come higher risks, I suppose. And then he said something else that I didn't read. Left or right door. Hey, guess what? More doors! One is incredibly ornate, and the other is really simple and dilapidated. It's behind door number one, and door number two. I haven't got the slightest idea. Here's the absurd two-headed two statue. In ancient Rome, myth, religion and myth, Janus is the god of beginnings, gates, transitions, time, doorways, passages, and endings. Usually depicted as having two faces. One looks towards the future, one to the past. Named after January. Or January is named after it, rather. In the middle of the doors, what's he looking at? Friends and enemies, past and future. Look at me, look at the present. This gives me chills. Alright. I thought there were only 16 chapters. Maybe there's 24? I feel like it's div div divisible by 8. Optio. I feel suffocated in choices, options, and possibilities. It's like a Google search materialized in this evil house and supplying you with more results than you can handle. Where's the big prize? Behind the ostentatious, alluring, magnificent door number one? Or the 
Uninviting, neglected, appalling door number two. Every damn decision feels like an anxiety attack. We need to jump in a tiger. Let's go door number two. Ugly door. Ugly house, ugly door. Why not? I don't know why he doesn't look behind both doors, personally, but... It's a room full of sand? Man, I feel like I've been rolling rolled dolls at tail. It's just keep getting weirder and weirder. In front of a huge sand dune, inside a room. WTF. Something glimmering at the top. Should I do go for it? Yeah, go for it. Why not? <laughs> He's probably gonna get sucked into the sand and die. That's what I'm fully expecting here. Jeez, do you know some kind of trick? Can help you climb a sand dune without falling without falling non-stop in the attempt, as I already pointed out. Doesn't look easy. Besides, don't dunes normally have dangerous creatures living in them threatening trespassers? Hope that's not the case here. It's just a bunch of sand. Sand borders dream poured into a room. Guess TV and video games aren't enough for the indoor experience nowadays. Wait, there's something glimmering at the top. You said that already. No choice but to climb this thing. See you at the summit. Gotta save my oxygen. And there he goes. Yep. <laughs> Whoops. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so there's 24 chapters. Um, I have very little understanding of how f far we've gone because I split this episode in two, but I think I'm going to stop here for today. And we'll pick up at Optio again next time. Thanks so much. Boop.